Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, love reading for Taurus. Uh, this is going to be for a new love. Uh, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for April 2022. So these are the Taurus people that are currently talking to someone new or dating someone new or they got into a new relationship with someone new or it could be someone that's coming towards you in the future. Okay, we will take a look at your over energies regarding love and then we will take a, a look at your new person to see what you need to know about them, okay? So apply this to your own unique situation, switch the roles if you want. Um, uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video. Uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, also, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. All right, so, Taurus, let's get started. Over energies for Taurus regarding love. What is Taurus's current over energies regarding love here? What does Taurus need to know for April 2022 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus? We have the Three of Cups. So you could be in this energy of putting yourself out there and meeting new people, okay? Having a good time. All right, we have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, it seems like you're out there moving about, shaking about. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords here. I don't know. I, I, Taurus, you could be in this energy of out there meeting someone and, you know, meeting people, but you're scared that you can't trust these people or that you're scared that these people will lie to you. You also could be dealing with someone. Maybe you're de currently dealing with someone here who's in, a, in this night energy and, you know, they're dealing with you and they're perhaps out there meeting other people, okay? And you're not trusting this person. Uh, you're fe fearing that, you know, maybe there's something going on behind, behind your back and that they're lying to you, okay? So like I said, apply this to your own unique situation. We have the Five of Cups and the Two of Pentacles here. Seems like there's some sort of juggling going on here. I mean, you could be juggling here too, okay? So let's see what else we have here. Yeah, it seems like there's some sort of disappointment here or that, you know, maybe someone's insecurities are really coming up. There are some sort of, someone here fears being in love, okay? Um, because I feel like we have someone here that's been hurt many, many, many times, okay? Let's see. Tell me about the Three of Swords. So this could be the person that you're dealing with, okay? Or this could be you. Tell me about the Three of Swords. That's not the Three of Swords, Three of Cups. We have the Magician here, Gemini, Virgo. Could be dealing with the Gemini or Virgo, Knight of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy here. You know, I feel like you manifested a great life for yourself and I feel like you're looking for love. But I feel like as you go through this process of meeting new people and vetting people, I feel like your fears are creeping up, uh, Taurus, okay? Uh, Eight of Swords. Six of Cups. Seven of Swords and the Tower. Yeah, so I feel like someone here, you know, is still... So some unpleasant experiences from the past, memories are, are coming up again. Okay, so I feel like someone here hasn't really completely, you know, gotten over a past situation. You know, the the trauma, the pain that we go through, it, yeah, it's it's gonna trigger us, you know. But it, it, it's about you know handling these triggers in a on, uh, in a in a healthy way. Uh, but I feel like someone's fears is really getting the best of them right now. Six of Cups in the Tower. Five of Cups. Tell me about the Five of Cups here. We have the Four of Wands. 
Two of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I just feel like someone here is unsure right now. Someone here is unsure whether they want a relationship or not. It, it, the thing is, I, see, I feel like someone here really wants it, okay? But I'm feeling like someone here has been disappointed so many times that we have someone here that's already expecting it, okay? I just feel like we have someone here that's really fearful of love. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me about the uh, new love or the new person that uh, Taurus is dealing with here. What do we need to know about this person? What does um, Taurus need to know about this person? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for uh, April 2022. What does uh, Taurus need to know about this person? Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. You might be dealing with someone here who's younger than you. I mean, you're definitely dealing with someone here that's not ready to settle down yet. And I feel like your intuition is on the money here. Okay. You know, it, maybe this is the night, this is the person that is um, the one that's fearful of falling in love. Okay. And like I said, it could be you also, Eight of Wands, and then the Ten of Cups. Eight of Pentacles and a Six of Wands. This is interesting. It seems like they're all in. This night, I feel like this night is all in. So Taurus, you could be the one who's skittish. You could be the one who's all skittish. The thing is, I the 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 only thing is that um, this energy, this night energy, is an energy that really loves their freedom, though. Okay, yeah, this is an energy that's kind of like footloose, fancy free, doesn't really plan ahead too much. Okay, um, you know, it, this is an energy that sort of just lives in the moment. Okay, doesn't really do a lot of planning. Um, so that's a huge polar opposite from Taurus's energy here, okay? Seven of Pentacles. The Lovers. Knight of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords. I feel like we have someone here who wants to invest in the connection here with you, okay? Feel, feels like you met a soulmate, all right? Um, I feel like what they're telling you is pretty true, okay? Seems like they want to be all in. You know, it could be one of the reasons why that, you know, maybe this person is out there also, you know, meeting other people too. Because they, they're seeing someone here who's skittish, okay? Who's uh, fearful. Let's see, eight of wands. Five of pentacles, ten of cups. And the King of Wands, Kings and Queen of Wands here. We have a true pair. Someone here met their soulmate. Yeah, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. I feel like this queen is going to leave this king out in the cold. But we have a king here that's all in. Yeah. Let's see, Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Yeah, this king is all in. Six of Wands. The Hangman. So, you know, this is definitely divinely guided, I feel. You guys definitely have a spiritual connection, but, you know, I feel like there are some fears here on someone's end, and I feel like it's this queen. Ace of Wands and the Hangman. Piscean Energy. So we have someone here who knows that this relationship can be successful, but I feel like this king is going to take a step back, okay? Seems like with the Wheel of Fortune, you know, someone feels like history is repeating itself or that someone's fears are catching up with them. What else do we have for Taurus? We have truth. I feel like whoever this is, this new person, this is an individual that's really honest about what they want with you. 
Yes, this individual wants to move forward with you. Yeah, I feel like this person's honest. This person's honest about being all in, okay? But we have someone, Taurus, we have someone here who's not trusting it. Because we have someone here that's fearful of falling in love, getting hurt again, okay? Being lied to again. Communicate clearly. And I feel like, you know, maybe you're not communicating to this person about what you want. Instead, I feel like you're, you might be standoffish. You're being standoffish to this person. Like I said, you can switch the roles if you want. Maybe it's your person doing that. And yeah, no need to worry. Someone here is worried. Someone here is worried. Let's see. What else do we have for Taurus? What else do we have for Taurus? What else do we have for Taurus here? We have let your friends help you. So maybe talk to someone, okay? Because I feel like we have, I feel like this queen is about to give up on this connection here. We have separation. So someone here is already thinking about it, okay? Someone here might already be thinking the worst where, you know, this hasn't really gone that far, okay? We have boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now. I feel like maybe there needs to be communications about boundaries, or what you could tolerate, what you can't tolerate. Addictions, and addiction is affecting this relationship. You know, I feel like the addiction is something that you've been holding on to that you haven't released yet. And like I said, these triggers are coming up and they're being handled in a not, in, in, in a not a very positive way. Uh, let's see what we have here. Last one, what else do we have here for Taurus? What else do we have here for Taurus? We have Twin Flame. Wow. Seems like you met someone here with a very, very, very strong soul, a soul tie. And yeah, this is a past life connection here. Okay. And I feel like maybe someone here is very fearful of the strong, tight connection here. Okay. Because I feel like someone here feels like it might all be over or that someone, you know, or, you know, or someone here, um, you know, might be doing just paranoid about something happening behind someone's back. Okay. So Taurus, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.